All right, so here's a mix of just a bunch of semi-open stance. That's what we uh, saw in Doha. Either, either th these are some of these are rallies, some of these are just more uh, the strokes isolated. But check them out. That's what we saw in Doha. Some of these have commentary, but most most don't. I mean, my commentary. All right, let's check out this first Djokovic forehand. And you'll see he's a bit more turned to the court here. Still not knee horizontal. And you can see the toe is pointed this way. But you can see he's more turned because look at his upper body. And his upper body is, is almost totally close to the court. And then the, the next one, you can see he's not quite as turned with the leg. But then you can also see his upper body isn't nearly as turned either. So it's, they're both kind of the same stance. Because in this performance today. Oh, look out. Oh, come on. In this performance today. Oh, look. Oh, look out. Oh, look out. Oh, come on. Performance today. Oh, look out. Oh, come on. Too good. Too good. Too, Too good. Oops, this one, this is an open stance. I didn't mean to put this one in. Yes. Beautiful.
exceptionnel mais qui a un tout petit peu serré le jeu et qui vous le voyez essaye d'arrondir un petit peu ses, ses trajectoires has a lot of it when he gets the shot there. He had to create his own pace with that one. And Nadal lucky to get it back into play on the return, but then Pokonakis just lines it up. Starts off with a good return of serve. You can see the extra effort put into that last forehand. All right, let's check this out. This is uh, this is one of these points in uh, Federer's top 100 shots, but we're gonna check out the semi-open stance for Federer and, and Murray here. And when is it a little bit? When is their forehand a little bit different? So here's the first one. Here's the second one. And then there's back-to-back -back running forehands. And there's the rest of the point. So here, we're going to see Murray Murray's load, okay, and then the shoulders to the target on the finish. Here we see Federer on the next one. Shoulder to the target on the finish, and the next two are totally different forehands. They're running forehands where they're they're going to step with the left foot after they hit. So you see, you step with the right foot, and then the left foot continues. Right foot, left foot continues. So those are slightly different shots. In which case the shoulder doesn't come to the target, or at least not nearly as much. No, 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 no. First short forehand where he gets is about the service line. I think it's. No, no. I think that was the one you're talking about. No, was it? Oh yeah, maybe the. Yeah, he wasn't as he wasn't as far up as I thought. Yeah. Man. Yeah, he was he was well inside the baseline there. He looked like he almost. No, that's this such one. an important no? point for this match. Oh ah, yeah, Murray is not that one. Yeah. He's not in the match, but he, he got an easier one. Yeah. Nadal, a different player in the second set, wasn't content with just one break. The Spaniard was after another. Songa was in serious danger of being on the receiving end of a bagel. Murray retrieved the first one. 
couldn't get to that one. That's one of the hardest backhands I've ever seen. And this winner at 106 off the forehand. So. 106. Back. Murray retrieved the first one. Did he couldn't get to that one. That's one of the hardest backhands I've ever seen. And this winner at 106 off the forehand. So. Yeah, just look at the look at the, the hips are forward, the shoulders are the shoulders are perpendicular to the net, and that's all you need. You с которым не справился Рафаэль Надаль. Форхенд выполняет сделать обратный брейк. Опять в середину играет. В середину. Забегал Надаль. Там Рафа. Ну, вроде бы как не так. Ох, какой обратный кром. Если другой Димарь. Если другой Димарь.
That's what we saw in Doha. That's what we saw in Doha. I think we're back to the beginning. 